I'm tired. Who are you? I don't know. Okay, right. Hey. You may have noticed that we've been lacking in our quoted Wednesday and Sunday uploads. We have not been uploading for a whole week, but we've got good reason. There's good reasons. We just had stuff to do this week. We did, yeah. And for a start, I was held hostage. I had my beard ripped off my face. Um, who's this guy? Hey. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. That's that's bad. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so you've had a beard cut. I did, yeah. What do you guys think? Dislike if you don't like it. Cheers and booing at the same yeah. time. Hooray, yeah. Yeah, so we've not been on, on YouTube for a week because the days that we're meant to upload, we've been busy boys. Instead of just posting lols, Mr. Week, everyone cared. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we went to a gig on Wednesday in Leicester uh, to see a band called Otterbocky Beaver. <laughs> Yeah. Supported by that t-shirt. This t-shirt was on stage, singing a song, yeah, no, Boys and Girls. Drinking Boys and Girls yeah, Choir. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. It's a band from Korea. Um, they were cool, what did you think of them? Very good. Um, when they started, they, it had the kind of setup of just kind of high energy punk, but yeah. um, the more they played, the more you kind of got the impression that like, oh no, they are fucking technically sound. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a lot yeah. of energy. The drummer was going for it. The bassist was fantastic. She was, yeah, like, yeah. pulling off some sick licks and doing some cool vocals as well. Yeah, they were really, really cool. If you're into, kind of, like, Korean kind of pop could, punky could just be any, like any kind of punk. yeah yeah i would check them out they're I really really cool i feel pop punk in this day and age me is very yeah. different to what like it kind of used to be sure it's I, yeah. more like pop punk nowadays is my girlfriend <laughs> left me and i want to get away from this town in the most fake American accent you can possibly pull off. Are you a fan of that kind of stuff? Absolutely not. I no. fucking hate okay. it. Fair. See, I like... So, would you classify Billy Talent as pop punk? Absolutely not. No? Okay. What would you classify Billy Talent as? Because I, lo I love Billy Talent. They're one of my favourite bands. It's, it's punk rock, but more on the emphasis of rock. Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Rock band rather than... Yeah. What about Yellow Card? Yeah, they're kind of like, I mean, look at Ocean's Avenue. We get away from this town. <laughs> that like, is the epitome it? of, yeah. I hate my hometown. <laughs> but it's more tolerable. If we could and it's get not, away. Yeah, we can leave this town run forever. But, so. Yeah, there you are. And he's yeah. got a more tolerable American accent and the violin is fantastic. Is so. it just because you grew up with that music and so you've got a discerning taste for it? Did I? Ottawaki Beaver were... This. Fantastic. Thank you. Whoa! So, Whoa. so um, hectic. It's like I'm here. Whoa. Um, but yeah, so they are a really interesting band. They have a fucking hell of a stage presence. Sure, yeah. I don't know if they're like playing characters or if they are just that kind of mad. <laughs> I feel like it's a stage gimmick. Yeah, but, yeah. Like the guitarist with her eyes like peeled back to just be yeah, white. She, and... she was doing like a fucking Undertaker. Oh. But she was like looking at the crowd, but her eyes were like in the back of her head mad. and it was fucking scary, honestly. The singer was pretty scary too. Like pulling yeah. her hair out at times and like, yeah, crazy stuff. Like If you imagine like the Junji Ito kind of smiling women, <laughs> it's that. Kind that was of thing. the band. RL, <laughs> yeah. They were great though. And even like, so obviously being kind of young Japanese women... They obviously had some people there that were there just for. Oh, you, you're a pretty girl. Oh, yeah, catcalling and all that. And they, I think they responded well to that. Like they started off kind of not really paying attention to it, and then they've got a song called "Dirty Old Fart Is Waiting for My Attention" or something along those yeah. lines, and they they made sure to shout that song out to the guy that was catcalling, which I thought was cool. It's a good way of kind of addressing that kind of shit because it's fucked up. That, it's fucked up that in this day and age. 
bands like that that are genuinely so talented are having to deal with that kind of shit. Yeah. Like, Especially in like, in like arenas and stuff, mm, you yeah. think, oh, people are more kind of whatever because it's anonymous. You can shout in and feel like a big dick, whatever. Yeah. But it, and like, we saw them in a tiny venue. Like, and what it's would just you say like, that we can look right. Like, like cap capacity. I'd say like 100, like. <laughs> yeah. 150. Yeah. It was a musician in Leicester, this building here. Um, yeah. Um, it was tiny. But what was mad as well was because they were playing like. Like big venues, they're playing the Coco in London, which is quite a big venue, really. Uh, that yeah, and then they played the Musician in Leicester, which so the reason we went was because it was the smallest venue in the uh, on the tour. It's just that big. That big, yeah. Um, and yeah. It's also next to my house, so that's fine. Yeah, I literally, know, the the walls of your house were like rumbling in the with the bass. And I was stuff. in bed. The whole time. <laughs> Your mum was banging on the door, go keep it down, keep it down in there. <laughs> Some of us have work in the morning. <laughs> yeah, me. <I> was <laughs> yeah, geez. Tired. Mate, that's never fun, is it? Well, I went to see Baby Metal on Saturday. Yeah. In Manchester, and then went to see them again on Sunday. You, just, you with couldn't you. get enough. You, you had to come back for more. Yeah, because they're fun. They're just a fun <laughs> band to see. They, sure, yeah, they are. They yeah. bring a lot of energy. They've, like, they've got a fucking hell of a routine and going on. Like, the synchronicity of just being able to perform with one other person and yeah, be, like, absolutely yeah. one-to-one in sync is impressive enough yeah. when it comes to, like, dance or whatever. But to do it with three people... In time with like really intensive like fast, kind of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the musicians themselves as well, like the backing band. People kind of like shit on them, I think, because they think, oh, it's just three girls dancing or whatever. Yeah. The backing band are fantastic. I, I, I don't even like calling them backing band because they are the band. Yeah. And they are fantastic. Like that bassist. Yeah. He's doing fucking mad finger tapping. Like He did like a minute long bass solo, just like shredding the bass. I didn't know that was possible. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, they're cool. I like, I used to be one of the kind of people that wasn't necessarily into baby metal. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like, kind of palmed them off as just a gimmick band. And then Brandon lied to me. Brandon had them on in the car and I was like, oh, who's this? And he was like, oh, just some... It's this unknown s- Japanese indie band. No one's you know. ever heard of them. And I was like, whoa, this is really cool. Thinking it was someone like Off the Pocky Beaver. But no, it was Baby Metal, and I was like, well, guess I like them now. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so so yeah, so I went along with you to watch them. Um, yeah, I was really surprised by how good they were. I, I thought they were amazing. We were having a great time. Here's a clip. Whoa, we're having such a good time. Look at Brandon rocking out there. No. Because, um, yeah, we saw them before, like, early, last year in Brixton. Yeah. I... But it was just like the sound wasn't so good yeah. there. But, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we saw them event him Apollo. Is that what it was? What are you doing Poor Fox? Mine. We feel old saying this, but... At the first gig, we were way more in the mosh pit, and like, <laughs> yeah. da, da, da. and it was hard to see what was going on because you constantly like, I just want to watch and have a bit of a move around. But people yeah. are fucking like with a band like that as well. I feel like because with the Bucky Beaver, we were in the pit, we were having a great time. But with Baby Metal, I do really want to kind of like watch the dance, and, yeah. like the experience, and the stage show. The fucking stage show was mad. Like the intro video. <laughs> yeah, like full on three D animation of them getting like. I don't know. <laughs> Digitised into reality. <laughs> yeah, geez. The yeah, the, the stage production quality was insane. But yeah, fully if you get a chance to see either of those bands, yeah. So we were two for two on Japanese female fronted bands and yeah, had a great time. Had a Korean band thrown in for the mix. So Creeper as well, Creeper was supporting Baby Mel. Then um, they blew up the stage. Stole a child, didn't they? That, that did happen. There was a commotion down the front. Um, and then a small child was plucked <laughs> from the stage, from the from the crowd, and he said, oh, it looks like this young man's been hurt. He looked fine. He looked okay. And then Ooh, suddenly he was say. whisked away and took backstage. I don't think their parents ever got them back. I wonder where they are now. 
What was your favourite of the two? Which was your favourite game? Choose. Choose one now. Um, well, the the kind of the spectacle of Baby Metal was obviously like... Yeah. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> that is... That is... That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then yeah. um, Otawaki Vivo was just like that kind of really close... Like you were saying, uh, yeah. those kind of gigs where it's just really small venue kind of energy you're there with the band mm. as much as like yeah yeah it, it doesn't feel like a disconnect but the performer's over there and you're like well although Murray <laughs> did wave at me she so. did she you were jumping up and down having a good time she started jumping up and down having a good time it was a good time all around that man offered me piss <laughs> he did <laughs> that's a, true I'm a tall individual and I feel bad whenever I go to a show because I just know that the person stood behind me is going to be having a bad time. There was there was a big gap of people not standing behind you, though. I did notice. There was a long line to the back of the room yeah. of people not standing behind you. Oh, it's because I kept kicking them. <laughs> out of the way. came back, this random dude, and the very last song was like, You want a beer? And it was like a half full <laughs> of what looked like a pint. So yeah. I don't think I want that beer. Why is this dude doing a slalom course on a mobility scooter? Oh, all-terrain mobility. Mate, that's hardcore. Safe curb handling. Whoa. That's not very realistic. Yeah, so it was a it was a good week of music, really. Like, we love going to shows. Like, you have to let us know. He take it. He steals it while I'm handcuffed. He takes it. <laughs> I can't get out. You have to let us know in the comments uh, what your favourite show you've ever been to is. Uh, <laughs> I looked in the camera. I can see what you're doing in the camera. I can see. If you enjoyed this video, uh, joining us on the sofa, just chilling out. Joining us on the sofa. Who do you think they are? Spencer Bear. <laughs> if you want to be Spencer Bear, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. No. If you say like, comment, and subscribe, it just categorizes you as that. Like, I'm going to be reading the script. I'm having a a cold like lifeless intro of saying like yeah. da da insert yeah. group name we're here. not about that da -da -da. <laughs> fuck well youtube is fucking demonetizing people who fucking say coronavirus because it's, yeah we can't like... get money now because we said it how fucked up is that like it's something that's part of the news and they're like nah sorry demonetized because you mentioned something that's happening in the world and it's not what's it... the point there's a lot wrong with the platform, and unless, like, a new kind of platform is trialled, it's, it's like Google, yeah. Google and Facebook and whatnot. No one is willing to try anything outside of it, well, even though there is, like, equally as good things, but... It's, it's because they're the big name, isn't it? and, like, someone like Google can buy out the competition. Yeah. And YouTube is owned by Google. They're always going to be... They're always going to be the big boys in the pond, and the little fishies are never going to... Be able to get the fish food. You, you know what's interesting though? Mm, yeah. Pornhub is now allowing. What? <laughs> what? Get back in your cage! Yeah, yeah Pornhub <laughs> is now like in talks about kind of letting anyone upload anything onto it and having so like other like categories. A, so it will like kind of be like thing. YouTube, but more oh. like open and stuff. Because obviously Pornhub has the, the fan base. A <laughs> lot of people use that. <laughs> um, and so it'd be Would it still be called Pornhub? I reckon so. Because it's a good, oh, it's a good brand, isn't it? Yeah. Yo, you see that video of the dude in, like, a Christian school? He's, like, on the drum kit, and he does, like, <laughs> and he does, like, the porn <laughs> drum intro. intro, and all the people are like, <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So, yeah, if you like this video... Don't do anything. Yeah. And if you, you didn't like it... <laughs> this, is, this is us in the sofa, signing off. Until next time, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>